Welcome to this deep dive tutorial series where we take a closer look at different segments of our product customization app. In this video, we'll explore all aspects of the customizations tab in our app. We'll cover the customization creation in the app and all the tools to organize customizations. How to search and sort your catalog and how our three customization types differ from each other. In the end we'll look at the individual customization settings and how categories can help you organize everything. Let's dive in. We'll start with the customization creation. You have three options for that. 1. Create from scratch. 2. Use preset customizations from the library. 3. Use Printful integration for Shopify products, we cover this in another video. To get started with option 2 simply click the Customization Library button. Now, choose a customization and click Create Customization. Next, to create your own customization, start by clicking the Add Customization button and select Product Builder. You'll then enter a title for your customization and confirm the creation. Now, let's see how to organize the new customization. First let's look at the essential part of your customization, the views. They represent different parts of your product that should be customizable like the front and the back for example. To add a view, click the first button on the right, Add View. You need to add a view image and the view title. Note that the image and title of your customization and their views can be changed at any time. At this point, the canvas in your customization view will be empty. You can fully set up your views in the product builder. Click the Product Builder button to get this started. It's the first button on the right. We do have a separate video on this topic to go into more details but this is how the Product Builder looks. Also on the right, you'll see options to copy or delete both a whole customization or just single views. You can also reorder views or move them to a different customization. There is an option to export your customization here as well. Importing a previously exported customization can be done at the top of the page right next to the Add Customization button. Let's talk about how to search and sort your customizations. To open the search bar, click the search button, enter the title of the customization you're looking for and hit enter. You can also filter by ID or category. You can combine both filters. If you are adding a new customization and it doesn't show, check the search filters first. Now, for sorting. You can sort by ID or title, and choose whether to sort in ascending or descending order. For larger lists of customizations, use the pagination buttons at the bottom right to navigate between pages. Now, let's look into the customization types. There are three different types you can use. Let's break them down. 1. Customizations, this is the standard type. Customizations include all views and details that will appear in the designer in your store. They are the part your customers will interact with in your store frontend. 2. Templates. Templates are your way to go if you have common setup elements across different customizations. You can save time by using a template of all those common parts as they will show up in the customization they are linked to. This way you only need to make small changes for each individual customization variant. 3. Layouts. Layouts are essentially alternative views for your customizations. Each view within a layout can replace any of the original customization views. This can be particularly helpful for products like photobooks. To offer layouts to your customers in the frontend, you'll need the layouts module which you can make available through the appearance tab. If you want to change the type of a customization you can do this by using the customization type drop down in the middle of each entry. Moving on to the individual customization settings. The second button on the right of each entry allows you to adjust these settings, such as connecting templates, layouts, or 3D preview models or predefining the canvas size, which can also be set in the product builder. Don't forget to click save to apply the changes. Now, let's look at categories. The main purpose of our customization categories is to give you the opportunity to link multiple customizations to a single Shopify product in just a few clicks. This can be done in the Shopify Connections tab which we discuss in a different video. Aside from that, this feature also helps to organize larger customization catalogs. Just click the Manage Categories button to add, rename, or delete categories. Each customization also has a category dropdown, where you can assign categories to the customization. You can also add new categories here. And that's it. We've taken a closer look at all the different elements you can use in the Customizations tab in our app's backend. 
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us via the in-app chat. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials in this series.